RB Leipzig and Paderborn played out a one-all draw. It's five of the last seven which RB Leipzig have actually drawn in. And if they are hoping to make the Champions League, Shaka, you'd say they're going to have to start getting those three points under their belts because at this level, draws really can cost a side. Yeah, they do. And especially when you join against the, the club at the bottom of the table. Um, that, that hurts not just in, in terms of the, the points dropped, but certainly in terms of, of momentum and, and in confidence. As, as I was looking at the running for all the contenders for Champions League spots, I thought RB Leipzig would qualify, no question. But then I also thought that they would handsomely take care of, of Paderborn. Anything but. Listen, I sympathize. You, you're down to 10 men before the break. But that's two huge points dropped. And, and to your point, Kay, once you start dropping points with, with that kind of regularity, then you stop believing that it's a one-off. And you start wondering if there's something... A, a whole lot more wrong and you start looking around the dress room and trying to find a scapegoat and pointing fingers right now they've got to arrest this somehow but that's a whole lot easier said than done impossible not to talk about Timo Werner at the moment with the headlines that we're seeing and he actually did play his part in today's game he was on the assist for Patrick Schick's goal in fact for Timo Werner that's 25 goals this season and eight assists it means he's been involved in 33 goals which is on a par with Jaden Sancho at the time of recording, it just shows how much he has to his game, doesn't it? It does. He really does. And, and one criticism of Werner, he had a fantastic opportunity to make it 2-0 on his left and could be top of the crossbar. That being said, it's a tough game. It's a tough 45 minutes to be playing up front when you're down to 10 men. There's, there's a lot asked of you and maybe he... He just pulled that effort a little bit more than, than he would have liked, given, given the, the heavier legs than, than you would expect. But, but again, his game is, is complete. And as the speculation continues to mount, um, you're starting to, to look a little bit more closely and, and, and under the microscope. What he's doing well, what chances he's missing and, and when, and, and, and how consequential those, those chances are. But he, he continues to equip himself. He continues to, to be front and center. Uh, for everything for, for RB Leipzig here. As of right now, it's tough to say the, spe- the speculation is affecting him. I, I don't think it has, or there's so, certainly no outward signs of that. He's complete. And, and now the big question is, where does he fit? Where does he fit best? Well, let's do some speculating of our own, because it looks as though he could be Chelsea-bound. Everybody expected him to be going to Liverpool. You have to ask, who gave up on whom? Is it financial, as some are saying it is, others are saying it isn't? Or is it that Timo Werner knows he's got a better chance of starting at Chelsea than he does at Liverpool? I I think it's it's the the latter of of, of those, Key. Without question, you you can go to Liverpool, and as much as in the past he's he's, uh, said that he wanted to work under Jurgen Klopp, and... We'll speculate as to how or where he fits in, fits into that front three. Is is it you know in place of Firmino? I'm I'm, I'm not so sure. Is 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 it mean that Sadio Mane is on his way to Madrid again? I, I'm not so sure. So there are a lot of questions that I don't think we can answer, especially given the the forced break that that all the leagues have had, and now people are kind of wondering and speculating about about transfers and and when they will happen or when they will announce. And then Chelsea announced their interest. And, and listen, I, I, I'm a huge fan of, of Tammy Abraham. I, I thought that Chelsea would stick with him, but they've made overtures almost to every big name that, that's become available. So I think the writing is on the wall for him and, and for, for those transfer targets. Now, if you're Timo Werner, you know that you can go in and you will be handed the, the starting shirt at, at Chelsea. That, for me, is huge because... As much as, as we can sit on the outside and talk about a player's age and getting experience, as a player, young or old or somewhere in the middle, you want to go in and, and play the game. You feel that's, where, that's what you do and that's where you learn most. And it, it takes a lot to convince somebody that just be a bit part player for the next couple of years, your future's bright and your future's here. When somebody else is saying, with equal terms, that come here, and do your learning on the pitch. I, I understand why, why his head was turned. Are Chelsea making themselves a very attractive prospect for young players? Timo Werner, 24 years old, but with what Frank Lampard's doing and giving all these young players a chance, you do wonder if few more players will have their heads turned and want to play there too. Yes, he has. Roll, roll the clock back a, a few years, maybe to, to, to my playing days, if you can look that far back. 
And, and you think of, of Chelsea under the spending of Abramovich and how they were just almost building a, a Galacticos part, you know, Mark II. Um, but, but, but that shifted because of the, the lack of, of, of further investment from, from Abramovich, or certainly not at that, at that same level. And then Frank Lampard, from the time he came in, maybe because of, of the transfer ban that Chelsea were under at the time, he had to go to youth. And I, I, I think that that's attractive and attracting. To, to young players. We could liken that to Dortmund and, and how, how easy it is for, for young up-and-coming talent to choose Dortmund uh, over, o- over others. Look at Erling Haaland because of, of how they continue to, to, to promote youth. And Chelsea are now establishing themselves as exactly the same with the kind of power that comes with and, and exposure that comes to the Premier League. That, that's a really attractive option. You know, seeing a strong character as well from Tino Werner, which is obviously very important in his position and at the level he's playing as well. And obviously Leipzig have not always had their fans overall over the years, but he's been able to deal with that. Will that serve him well in a move to the Premier League? I think it will. I, listen, he's, he's complete. And, and yes, you have to have a certain strength of character because with, with that price tag, whatever that price tag may, may be and, and, and how it's perceived, certainly how his value is perceived within the league and within, within those terraces of Stamford Bridge, that, that comes a certain amount of pressure. And you've got to be able to handle that. All signs so far, and given what we've seen from, from him at Leipzig, and I know it's a, a different ask, but he's, he's handled it well. And, and you take that for what it's worth. 60 million euro release clause, you just mentioned, obviously, the figures. Is that a bargain for a player this young who can get the goals and is a proven scorer? Yes, a, a player this young... With this kind of pedigree, um, inter- international experience as well, and just kind of given how long we've been we've been talking about him and his successes at, at RB Leipzig, given the money that's that's been bandied about in, in the game for for other and in my opinion lesser talents, yes, this is an absolute bargain. But still, but but to that point, King, sixty million might be the release clause, but I, I think the pressure, the value of, of that pressure is a little bit higher, if, if you understand what I'm saying. He's not going to be seen as a £60 million gamble. He's, he's going to be seen as a, a £100 million player who Chelsea somehow were able to get on the cheap. And we've seen so many times players doing it in other leagues and doing so well in other leagues, and then they can't quite transform that form to the Premier League. So what does it take to make it in the Premier League, particularly for a young player? Well, I think you've seen you've seen it from from Timo Werner a certain strength of character, as you mentioned, um, just a, a physical strength on the ball, which which you need in in the the high tempo of, of the Premier League, and technically you, you've got to be very sound. Werner has shown all that. I, I think I think he makes it in the Premier League. What we've seen so far, um, if he doesn't, of course, we'll be first to point it out. And he'd probably have to shoulder a lot of that blame. But what we've seen so far, I've been impressed. Well, and nothing is done yet, but it does seem that next season, if we do see Timo Werner in the Premier League, it will be in the blue of Chelsea rather than the red of Liverpool. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.